Okay, in last section we saw about uh, the new GRE and in this section we are going to look at uh, the verbal reasoning. Uh, so now the verbal reasoning is uh, like a one hour section divided into uh, two sets or two sections of 30-30 uh, minutes. And in 30 minutes we have to do like 20 questions. Uh, the best part here is that uh, uh, you can change any question before that 30 minute mark. So you can keep something for review and you can change it at a later stage. Okay, now uh, to practice and understand about the new GRE, the ETS recommends this book which you, which you should buy and uh, I'll be talking about this book as well in this session. So let's uh, look on to what's happening in the verbal section. Okay, now the verbal section is uh, basically uh, divided into uh, further into three sections. The first is the text completion question, uh, then the second is the sentence equivalent section and the third is the reading comprehension question. Now let's look at uh, each type of them. So the text completion question is uh, uh, it's just like the uh, old fill in the blanks where uh, we have to uh, find out the best answer and find out uh, which is like uh, uh, the best answer when we have to use logical sense, grammatical sense and stylic coherence. Now when we talk about uh, the grammatical and styling coherence, this type of questions are in a way uh, moves toward the sentence correction, the idiomatic way of the GMAT. So uh, that that's that's uh, unhidden and unstated part of the GRE that they are trying to move toward the right way or the uh, uh, idiomatic way of uh, usage. So that that's that's what you can expect in the uh, in the text completion. Now this is my view. Uh, the, these things are not mentioned very uh, explicitly on the. Uh, uh, on the ETS website but what I believe is that in the text completion question we are going to see uh, how uh, words fit in and when there are like a group of words we can find out we have to find out which ones fit in using grammatical sense like the use of preposition uh, and uh, which of them fits in in the idiomatic way okay of course we are going to uh, uh, Again, find tough words here, so importance of vocab still remains, uh, but uh, the direction of the entire passage would be the same, so uh, that's what we are going to see here. So this is a case of uh, the questions for the uh, uh, text completion uh, sentence, here. here we have three questions. Now uh, you can go ahead and solve these questions and uh, we are going to look at uh, them at a later stage of point. Okay, so this is like uh, the questions of the uh, text completion which is now more based on the grammatical sense, the, uh, uh, the idiomatic way of uses of English language, a little bit knowledge about uh, kind of preposition or infinitives like to and things like that. So there are chances that uh, we can see something like that but uh, as far as uh, the things go, the, the, the options would be uh, differing in meaning not just style. So uh, that that's a thing which we can expect. Okay, so this is like the uh, uh, text completion question. Okay, now coming to reading comprehension. Reading comprehension has got three types of question. Uh, the first is the multiple choice question with only one option correct, like uh, the old GRE. Uh, but we have here. Uh, the questions where more than one answer choices are correct which are a kind of tricky one. Uh, but the best part here is that it will have uh, three options and the probability of each question would be uh, uh, 1 by 7. So and uh, we will also do the distribution that in most cases uh, of course uh, we can have any of the options above but in most of cases we are having like probability of around 60 or 70 percent that it's a grouping of two answers which fits in. So uh, we are going to look at uh, all those cases and strategies set uh, for the multiple choice question with more than one choice is correct. Then we have the select in passages 
where you have to select in the things at the passages and point out where the, that specific part is given. So these are like the three types of question in the reading comprehension. You can just go to the ets.org and check this out. And uh, the third type of question is the sentence equivalence question. Now these are like the easy pickings of the new GRE because uh, you, you are going to still uh, get these kind of uh, uh, questions by your knowledge of vocab. So these are like the easy pickings and uh, uh, two of them are right so they would have the uh, synonym. So it's like a modified version of uh, a synonym case. Okay, so like for example, let's look at question one. Although it contains some pioneer ideas, although it's a trigger, one would hardly characterize the work as innovative or original. So uh, th that's what we are looking at. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll have the same hints, but uh, we'll have synonyms here. And uh, the questions uh, are being uh, structured, and the topics are just like the old GRE. Okay, so let's look at the second one. It was a view that country's problem had been dashed by foreign technocrats. So to ask for such a, a assistance again would be counterproductive. So if, if you are asking uh, again uh, their help and you think it's counterproductive means you think that the foreign technocrats are actually uh, worsening the situation. So the right answer here is exacerbated and worsened. Okay, so these are the type of questions you are going to look at. Now you can do download the power prep software and check out things yourself in the in the upcoming classes we are going to talk more about uh, questions and how to solve questions and I'll be doing some questions with you online here live and uh, to know more about uh, these recordings you can check out my channel or my website is freegregmatclass.com uh, and on my website you have this uh, chat appellate so you can chat with me live if I am available at that point of time. So you can either message me uh, using the ping box or you can message me on the GTalk appellate. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you the next time.